So people argue the Lubavitcher Rebbe's relentless push to bring world redemption, Mashiach, is not realistic. It's not practical. It's simply beyond our capacity. Now that argument is 100% correct, but we had this teacher who had a heavy Yiddish accent. He would say, you're 100% correct. Now let me show you why you are wrong. So here's why that is wrong. Consider this, Beethoven wrote music that was far beyond the range and the scales and the timber of the instruments of his time. The instruments simply couldn't capture the beauty of his music. As one historian put it, Beethoven's music literally forced the creation of improved and better instruments so that they could play the magic of his music. What Beethoven did with music, the Lubavitcher Rebbe did with Mashiach. He spoke of the great, exalted vision that Judaism has of world peace, of a world filled with grace and love and godliness. And he said, that might not be the world of today, but let us become the instruments. Let us live up to that melody and create the institutions so that music could be played. And if people say, but the world is still a place that has so much negative things going on in it, and the answer is that is true, but the future doesn't belong to the outdated instruments, the future belongs to the divine music.